So you actually have a project as an album or a mixtape or? Yeah, I mean, I consider it uh, album, the music so far, but you know, mixtape, EP, however they want to put it. But yeah, we had a whole project. Right, and uh, hold on, let me, let me make sure I get the, and that's Pain. Yeah, Pain. Okay, and Pain is, I mean, it's a whole, it's a whole bunch of songs. It's like, what, like 18 songs or something? Yeah, 18. Okay. So London, London did some of the beats? Yeah, he did a few. Okay. And then there was that one song where you actually had Birdman and, is that Young Thug on it? Rollo, Birdman and Rollo. Oh, Rollo. Yeah, no little law. Okay. Sounds a little, okay. I must have confused him with Young Thug. Yeah. Okay. So Birdman jumped on a song. Rallo, because you, know, you know what it is? Because on Spotify, it doesn't actually show none of, the, uh, none of the guest features. You know oh, what I'm saying? Really? It just shows you, and then that's it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, because I, I was going through it all, you know, before the interview. So, so who else shows up on it? On the album? I mean, we're on yeah. the plane. Yeah. Uh, we got Jeremiah, um, Rallo, Bird. Um. Okay, and that's, that came out independently, or did that come out through commission? Independently. Okay. How did it do? Shit, this shit going crazy. <laughs> it's doing good. Oh, you know, I don't really be into the stats or whatever. I don't really, I just do the music. So it's doing good though, you know what I'm saying? For um, me to drop a tape and I'm seeing this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, trending on certain sites and trending on, um, you know, songs of the week and all that, you know what I'm saying? So to me, it's doing good. It did real good. It went, uh, like four million on my mid tights or something like that. Yeah, no, the YouTube numbers are big. Like, yeah. it's a, uh, you know, I mean, because I wasn't familiar with the name originally when, when they, you know, uh, you know, they brought you, uh -huh. you know, the name up to the interview. But when I started looking it up, I'm like, oh, okay, like this is, this is gaining steam, and yeah. you know, what I mean, like the quality level is there. So I'm like, yeah, let's let's fuck with them. Yeah, like, yeah, man. Like, how did it feel, you know? being what you went through, the ups and downs, the losing of Slim Dunk and everything else like that, to finally have a, you know, a song that started to react? Honestly, the first thing that came to my mind was Dunk, we did it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, through all the bullshit, the rain, pain, the struggle, uh, the losses, you know what I'm saying? We finally getting the shit that bro wanted to happen. You know what I'm saying? So Slim Duncan was the first person you thought of when the song started to hit. When I, I'm saying Slim Duncan is the first person I thought of when we, when the success started coming, like far as moving and getting shows and getting features and you know what I'm saying. People posting me on their page, you know what I'm saying. I'm just like, don't we did it? Did what you wanted, bro. We on the way. You said that you know once the buzz started to build, you started seeing a lot of fakeness. Hell a lot yeah. of old faces becoming new faces, yeah. a lot of new faces becoming old faces. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, um, you got people you ain't talked to. Well, I'm just keep it. Me, I had people I ain't talked to in years. People who weren't worried about nothing I had going on. Niggas who ain't believe in me doing the music, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they, they just came out of nowhere. Oh, bro, family, woo, 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 let's do this, let's do that. Oh man, let me come ride with you. Let me get on the show. I mean, all that. Or can you do this for me? No, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me tell you, all the girls you ever met. <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah, that shit back is so real. Too. It's bitches. No, I ain't gonna lie. I might hit some of them just because I ain't let me hit that shit back then. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I had girls start breaking down a date we went on like ten years ago into yeah. detail, and I'm like, I don't even remember who you are. Like, yeah, exactly. But I'm gonna act like I do. Now, nah, really, I'm gonna remember, cause bitch, when I tried to highlight you, you talking about my white tin shit. Yeah, ho. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I mean, that that's part of it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it all it all comes with it. Yeah, it, it all comes with it. The good, the bad, the love, the hate. Yeah, it come uh, with anything it. else like that, man. You know, just enjoy it because you know the the first time is always like the special time. Yeah, you know, what I mean, the first time it really happens, that that's when it really it really affects you the most. Yeah, you ain't lying. It affects everything: personal life, the business, your mental. It, it it do it do affect a lot, a whole lot. 
Right, and you have two kids, which you can now help out a whole lot more. Yeah, this is actually going to be my first Christmas. I do anything for my kid. Me, me oh, really? personally, yeah. This is about to be, and your kids are how old? Um, my daughter, 10, my son, 7. Wow, so this is the first time in, in 10 years that you could give your kids a real Christmas. Yep, first time. That's real, man. A lot of people wouldn't admit that. I mean, I'm real. I'm trying to bring that real shit back, man. You know what I'm saying? I had partner. Like, my 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 street family was more of a family than me. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I didn't really, I wasn't with my family. Like, my folks everywhere kind of doing everything they own. So, you know, my, my niggas, you know what I mean? My street family, they did for me. Like, Cribs will come. I wouldn't even be thinking about no damn crib. But they'll come through with some little shit. I'll drop it off. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't never take the credit for it. I was like, oh, yeah, your Uncle Mucho did or your Uncle Tito, Uncle Jill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, that's tough. That's tough. I mean, how, how did it feel being a father and not really being able to provide like that? Shit, man, that shit hurt. I ain't gonna lie. I said plenty to you. Birthdays, uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? Just on regular shit, when I couldn't even, you know what I mean, get them nothing to eat type shit. They'll call school, I couldn't do shit. So yeah, that shit hurt. Hurt bad. Them the last people I wanna let down, you feel me? Right, and then, is it, do your kids have two different mothers or the same mother? Yeah, yeah. Right, so then I'm sure the moms were probably not not happy about the whole situation yeah. either. I went through a lot of shit with that, but I ain't tripping now. <laughs> we good now, goddamn. That's what's up, man. That, that, that's what it's really all about, man. Yeah. You know, that, that's what it's really all about. Is It's really about the kids. So, listen, man, congrats. Congrats on, uh, on getting to this point because, you know, a lot of people don't get to this point. You're right. A lot of people, they quit. They realize it ain't really for them. Yeah. Uh, they can't deal with the hate. They can't deal with the, all the bullshit that comes with it. You know, and I you honestly think I, I honestly think see me me being here today, which I appreciate being here. But um, you gonna go through that in order to get here. You have to go through them stages. You have to be like fuck this shit. You have to feel like this ain't for me. You have to feel like it ain't working. But that's when it worked, right? When you don't give up. When you know like. Man, this shit got to work. I you got to. I don't put my whole life into this shit. I don't lost niggas behind this shit. I don't see my family because of this. I ain't had time with my kids because they got to work. I ain't no way it ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? So, honestly, man, being here, you got to. You got to go through that because you'll never know how to get here. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't get the drive to get here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you dropped the independent album, uh -huh. or mixtape, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So, what do you got coming up next? I'm working on um, getting videos and shit done. I'm actually working on shooting the Hardaway video uh, next week. Yeah. Okay. That's dope. That's dope. Because, I mean, the song has gotten this far without a video. Yeah, this far without a video. Just now started catching the radio, so it's time for a video. Yeah. That's what it is. Are you working on, like, the official album? Um, I think I'm just, I'm just, whatever come my way, I'm just dealing with it. So I can't really say I'm working on a certain thing, but I do have plans for pain too. I'm gonna call it too much pain. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's what it is, man. Well, listen, Derez, man, appreciate, you know, appreciate you coming in, man. Congrats on, you know, on the song. Yeah, First and foremost, it. because, you know, a lot of people, it, it's funny because people will downplay someone getting a hit. Right. You know, saying that's a one-hit wonder, but 99% of people are no-hit wonders. Right. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? People never get to any hit. Yeah. So so to get get your foot in the door with that one hit, man, don't let let anyone ever downplay that shit, man. I never I don't been through so much. I can I the only thing that can hurt me is myself. And that's just real. I'll never let nothing stop me from doing what I'm doing. They can say what they want. I know I'm not no one here one because I wasn't supposed to be here today. You know what I'm saying? So that's the same ambition, the same drive I got. I'm going to keep going. And anybody who listens to the whole album going to know it's impossible for me to be a one hit one. No, man. I mean, because you see the consistency, you know, throughout the music. Uh, 
you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, you know, now it's just, it's go time. You know, starting to start, you know, time yeah. to start dropping more. You know what I mean? Because I remember I, I gave Migos their first interview. Right. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. All yeah. right, deep. Me and Coach K were hanging out, and, you know, he was like, oh, I got this new group. Mm. You know, I was in Atlanta. I had no idea who they were. This was before before Drake jumped on Versace. Yeah, yeah, okay, and, yeah. And, and, you know, they were buzzing in Atlanta, but it wasn't outside of Atlanta. Right. You know, virtually unknown at the time. But, uh, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of groups. They get that one hit, and then, you know, Versace dropped, and I'm like, okay, well, they hot because of Drake, and that's going to be it. And yeah. Then, <laughs> oh no, that shit, it, it was crazy later. how they went, it was like, they got a name, bad, this one kind, yeah. this one kind, this one kind, this one kind, had the world on that shit. Yeah, no, and then, you know, you got to see Young Thug do his thing, too. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. What, like, what, what was his first, what was his first, like, hit? Um, see, I don't know, I, I, I guess it would be, uh, Stoner. Stoner, exactly, yeah. that's what I was thinking about, yeah, because when Stoner came out, I'm like, yeah, this is this is cool. This is all right. You but know. See, I've been I've been on that thug shit since came from nothing, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I knew. You know, like, oh yeah, that nigga gonna go. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, it's always amazing to me when you see that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, same thing with Waka. You know, yeah. when Waka, you know, first came out with was it, oh let's do it, I'm yeah. like, this is cool, but I'm not sure yeah. where this is going. And then whatever, ten hits later. <laughs> Yeah, but see, I think you know what it really got to do with that? It be the time and the shit. Because like, I ain't did nothing different from what I was doing in the past. It's just that, you know, it's certain times and it's certain eras for certain shit. So, you know, when Walker was doing his thing, he crumped back up the, you know what I'm saying, the real, the real shit with the party, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, me with my situation, it's kind of like, I feel like the world forgot about real shit. Like, like everybody dancing and... Um, and I don't got nothing against that. It's just that I feel like, you know, the world, it's shit going on in the world, man. People got to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? No doubt, man. Well, Derez, man, I appreciate you coming in, man. Until next time. I appreciate you having me, family.